Hello everyone, we're super excited to share this month's tech tip with you. This tip is using the Canva website. So when you log into Canva, you're here at this homepage and it asks, what will you design today? So the cool feature that we're gonna share with you today is artificial intelligence, AI. It is a cool tool that you can use to create pretty much anything that you'd like. In order to be able to use it though, you have to make sure that you select docs. So when it asks, what will you design today? Make sure that you choose docs and then you'll come over here and click start writing. Once you're in the docs, you're gonna click the plus sign and make sure that you select magic write. That is the only way that the AI will work. So once you're here, you will type in whatever it is that you're wanting uh, Canva to create or generate for you. So if I am looking for Spanish word problems because my kiddos need extra practice there, but I just want Canva to help me generate them, then I can type in what are 10 Spanish word problems up to the number 10. And then I select generate. And then Canva is working its AI magic. And then there we go. We have a mixture of addition and subtraction problems and there's 10 of them. And then I can use those to uh, ask my class and we can get that extra practice. Now, if you wanted to take it a step further and make it into a nice presentation, all you have to do is come up here and go to convert. And then you're gonna go to get started. And then Canva has lots of different templates that they already have here set up. You can go to see more to see others, but let's just say that I'm gonna choose one of these. So I'll choose this one and do create my presentation. And so the 10 word problems that were generated using AI are already in here. So all you have to go, well, all you have to do is go in here and change the font if you'd like, format it however you like, and maybe add any visuals. And then you basically have a cool presentation that you can use for your students. I hope that you enjoyed this tip and we hope that it's helpful for you. Thank you.